Good evening, friends. This is Sister Gwendolyn Song with the Sackcloth and Ashes News Report. While the nation is being distracted by all sorts of unimportant news headlines, the real headline for this evening is God's judgment on the USA. And look at what happened on the war front yesterday in Ukraine in this article. Hundreds of Russian soldiers killed in high marsh strike on holiday resort turned barracks. Uh, there were several images of the fire pasted all over social media. First of all, friends, I want to say that HIMAR missiles are U.S. missiles. So actually, a barrage of U.S. missiles were being used by Ukrainians. It has killed or wounded as many as 200 troops in Miletopol. And this is in southern let's see, southeastern Ukraine, where it has been under Russian occupation since March. The city's exiled mayor, Ivan Fedorov, said that the strike had overwhelmed hospitals in the city and casualties were being ferried to Crimea. Now, video that is said to have come from the scene, it showed rescuers picking through these blazing ruins of a building and what appeared to be several casualties among the debris. This uh, resort and hotel complex is next to a church. It's been, uh, it was called the Hunter's Halt and was said to have been used as Russian barracks. At least four missiles are thought to have struck the city, which has been occupied by Russian forces all the way back since March and it is being regarded as a high precision attack. This Mel uh, The Miletopol attack, it came as Ukraine claimed to have also struck a hotel housing the members of the notorious Wagner mercenaries. The missile strike in uh, Kadivka, Luhansk region resulted in significant Russian losses, according to unverified claims from Kiev. Now, listen, friends, now, if you are a praying person and you believe in the power of prayer, just join us, please. Pray that the Russians or any of their allies do not retaliate against the U.S. and its allies anytime in the near future. Pray that cooler heads will prevail. HIMARS rocket launchers have become uh, one of the Ukraine's, one of the Ukraine. Uh, military's most feared weapons. And Kiev has used the mobile launchers in strikes against ammunition dumps, uh, command posts deep behind Russian lines. So they're, they're hitting behind the Russian line fronts. And meanwhile, more than 1.5 million people in the southern Odessa region were without power after the latest wave of Russian drone strikes hit uh, two uh, energy facilities, and that's according to President Zelensky. And by the way, those drones were Iranian drones. Now, in this next article, U.S. set to send Ukraine Patriot missiles in major escalation. This is an, a very, very serious development, friends. And this, in my opinion, is a game changer. This came out this afternoon by CNN's chief Pentagon correspondent. It is breaking news based on multiple anonymous U.S. defense officials, including a senior uh, Biden administration official, that the White House is currently finalizing plans to send Patriot missile defense systems to Ukraine. The Biden administration is finalizing plans to send the U.S. Patriot missile defense system to Ukraine. Um, and that that official decision uh, will be out by the end of this week. Friends, this is a game changer. Now, if approved, this could be the tipping point in the conflict leading to direct, direct confrontation, I got a tongue twister there, between nuclear armed powers given transfer of Patriots would mark the longest range missiles sent to Ukraine thus far. Washington has so far been reluctant, despite Kiev officials since 
nearly the start of the invasion, making repeat pleas for the U.S. to help close the sky. Um, President Zelensky, many months ago, he was urging the Congress for uh, more advanced uh, weapons technology. As the Guardian reviewed of the dangers involved in sending the Patriot, long sought by the Ukrainians, the missiles have a range of up to 300 kilometers. But so far, the U.S. and its allies, including the U.K., have declined to supply them because they could be used to hit targets inside Russia. And supplying these Patriot missiles would help bring the war to an end as soon as possible, Johnson said. And he says, you know, friends, this really is a game changer. This is a true uh, potential escalation of this war. And there are so many people right now that are not aware of this news. People are, you know, financially distraught. Uh, they're trying to make ends meet. They're trying to afford groceries, trying to manage a single parent family, or maybe a college student who's just right now cramming for their finals. This is a very serious war going on in Ukraine, and the U.S. is very, very determined to see it to its end. It is now escalating. The U.S. is now planning on sending Patriot missiles. It looks like a war between the Americans and the Russians, if I didn't know better. And if you go to YouTube and you were to type into the search bar, prophetic dreams of Russian invasion, you will see just what the spirit of the living God is showing his people uh, right now. And actually, he's been showing people dreams for the past several years. And the Lord is really saying that he will strengthen his people for the upcoming days. But he has to punish the USA because the USA no longer cares for God. The, the USA has other gods. And the Lord Jesus Christ is going to bring the USA to its knees. And if you're a Christian, brace yourself because Christians will be hated for their explanation of why we were attacked. It will be pinned on us. But friends, through fasting and prayer, God will strengthen his people and he will walk us through it all. He's looking for a commitment to follow him, not for us to be comfortable. So friends, be ready for Russian retaliation, re retribution, destruction of our once great land. And Russia may say, just like in that Rocky movie, USA, you drew first blood. You and your NATO allies, you drew first blood. And don't be caught off guard, friends. Uh, I'm just one of the many people out there warning and warning. And I'm going to do that until the missiles are coming down all around. Now, I did have a prophetic dream. It's been a couple years now. I had just opened up my back door. Missiles were coming into my yard, and there was fire erupting, and the peace of the Lord was upon me. I had the Lord's perfect peace because I kept my eyes focused on Him. Now, friends, do not play religious games with the Lord. Have a genuine relationship with Him. He is kind. He's merciful and he's very forgiving, but it's really up to you to prepare your heart to meet him. And you must first prepare your heart, then prepare your families, prayer, fasting, uh, being honest with yourself, not being judgmental. The days are, they're growing so dark so fast and the headlines are not pointing people towards the Lord Jesus Christ. They're celebrating evil at every opportunity. And what are they going to say when they stand before the Lord? Every single person is being given a choice. So I say in closing, friends, seek this day whom you will serve. Get down on your knees and pray. Choose Jesus Christ. I will talk to you again real soon. Have a blessed night, friends, and join us in prayer.